Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Kilobyte Shorts Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. Um, I had a thought. <laughs> I was encoding a couple of videos. I was encoding, encoding my launch to the moon videos and I was sitting here being kind of bored and I thought to myself how can I get it to the moon using a connector? And so I came up with kind of a plan, a little bit, a little bit of a plan, not a huge, huge, huge plan, but um, a bit of a design. And in order for that design to work, I need several things. And these are not those things. Oh wait, here is this? Okay, a little big, a little big, and apparently a couple of scratches on there. Look at that. Um, that one might work. Let me take a look. What is that? That is that the right tank? Yeah. Okay. Um, FLT 200 fuel tank. 90 out of 90 liquid fuel. Ooh, wow, that's a lander fuel tank. That is, that's... Hmm. I don't think that will work for me. This one's bigger. But... Well, these ones lasted way high up, didn't they? They were, th they were 360 out of four, 440, right? And this isn't all my, my rocket's going to be either, just just so you know. Um, you know let me go ahead and start designing. Wow. Big decoupler. Big, big, big decoupler. I need a small one. Oh, this will work. Okay, here we go. Um, anyway, this isn't all my rocket is going to be. There, this, I have a plan. I have a plan. A masterful stroke of geniusness. It was, it was. Which may actually come... Oop, too low. Which may actually come back and bite me in the tuchus, I think. But, even so, even so, I'm still going to try it. Now, you might be wondering, what is this horrible thing you're putting together? Well, this is going to be my grappler. This is going to be my pickup. Um, this is going to be the thing... That's arrow, that's not what I need. This is going to be the thing that locks onto the thing that gets me to... The moon. I know it looks really strange, doesn't it? You're saying to yourself, "What are you doing? Why? Why that? What? What is, what is this horrible thing?" But um, there are a couple of items I need to add that will be removed later for um, for the build, and that is really it right there. That's that's what I need because what I need is scale, and the the game is is good as it has gotten so far. Unfortunately, it still lacks the ability to. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? There's a word here. It lacks the ability for you to take a unit, like say, um, like you build, you start with this pod maybe, but then you say, okay, but I, I want to launch with this pod. And I'm <laughs> doing it with that. Making it like, anyway, you start with this pod. You say, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna start with this pod, but then you say, okay, my actual pod is gonna be this one. You don't have that ability yet. Um, they haven't added that in yet. So what you end up with is whichever pod you, pod you start with is the pod that you are forced to use. And because of that, what what happens is you can't, like, I can't take the moon lander and then just add this on top of it and then delete the moon lander. I have to build this and then build a moon lander facade mm -hmm. underneath. Um, I was kind of hoping that that would go under rather than on. But I don't think that's going to happen. So let's see if we can... Wait, I can do that, right? Will that work? I don't think that'll work. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Is there a way to get it, like, on the side here? Not there. Maybe I can get it. Sort of. No, that won't work. Ew. Ew. I can't believe... Oh, that was... Yeah, <laughs> that was a Sostica for a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry for that. Um, I did not mean to do that. Uh, what I am trying to do is I'm trying... Well... You know what, I probably don't need these big old things. I'm going to keep this one because I want that separator. I want that, that stage separation. But I probably don't need those big old things to do this. Uh, or those big old things. I wonder if these teeny tiny ones might work. Oh yeah, these teeny tiny ones should work fine. Um, and in case you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm, the problem with space is you tend to have a lack of light. You, honestly, the big, one of the biggest problems is you tend to not be able to see what you're looking at and they've added lights and that's great i love that they've added lights um speaking of which i need those utility lights should be under utility excellent um since they've added lights you can do this you can put these lights on here which then can be aimed hopefully hopefully 
well, one would hope, uh, one would hope you'd be able to add it to here. No. No. Kind of. Well, I guess you can still do this. <laughs> it's not a new game that didn't change the controls that much. I don't like... Well, I guess they do connect via the handles, don't they? So that's how I'd have to do this, is like this. Well, if I'm going to do it like that, I don't even need these. At that point, that's just being... That's just being silly, so... Let's go ahead and head down here and then do that. Right? Should, that should be enough. That that should kind of point out where my where my uh, lights are, right? Pretty good. Or where where I'm going? Well, well more like that. I, I like I like that one a little bit better. Yeah, I like that one a little bit better. Okay, so that's a, that's a good sign. We'll, we'll I don't like the way they're just stuck on there like that, but we'll we'll imagine that they're hooked on there with little clamps, little adjustable clamps. That's what we're going for. Okay. Um, now in addition to this, I just remembered I actually need an SAS module. I need a teeny tiny SAS module because they're actually useful now. Little tiny SAS modules are useful now. Yay. Okay, SAS module. And I guess for docking, I need docking thrusters, right? I would need some kind of docking thruster setup. So this thing's going to get a little bit heavier. A thruster block, right? Like that, do you think? Just boom. Right there in the middle? Okay, so docking thruster's fine. Um... Oof, uh, it's under fuel, right? RCS fuel, somewhere around here. An unconventional shaped but undoubtedly handy fuel tank. Cute, but not what I'm looking for. Um, Rocco Max, tiny engine but very useful, good for craft, which are larger radial engines won't fit anything. Excuse me, although you may need more of them to lift larger payloads. Is that... Well, that's a tiny little boat, isn't it? Look at that, it just should be done with it. Not what I'm looking for, though. Solid fuel booster. <laughs> Definitely not what I'm looking for right now. RCS? RCS fuel tank. Okay, here we go. Here, here's my RCS fuel tank. So, um, beef above or below the... Uh, kind of want it. Wow, it's getting so big now. My simple, simple rocket has become this concoction of insanity. Okay, so there's that, um, and that is a fuel tank there in the middle, I know. It's a fuel tank, I, I swear it's a fuel tank. I may want to move these up though, more centered. Right, more centered, I, I would think. Uh, right, now I need fuel for these. Little tiny, ooh, no. Well, I guess I could use, no, me, these. I guess I could use like four more of these for fuel, maybe, you think? I mean, it's not going to take much to get this up into orbit, it will, but it will take a bit to get it um, to a docking trajectory, I would think. I would think. I don't know. I do not know. Let's see. 220, too high. 200, too high. Wait, those ones are too big. Tiny rocket? I should have a tiny rocket. This is a nuclear rocket. It's 60. Oh, that, yeah, I couldn't dock with that. That's... I wouldn't be able to dock with the ship. Okay, 909 model was initially received with some skeptical spacecraft engineers as it def defied the long-standing convention that more power is always better, despite this 909 series has found its place in the spacecraft construction world being particularly useful as a final stage and landing engine. Hey, that's great. And it's got 50, which is also great. Cool. So, there we go. There's that. Um, these engines are weird, though, because they always say they never have enough fuel but it looks like as long as they're connected to a functional fuel tank yeah they should work okay so not perfect not perfect by any means but functional and that is what we're kind of going for more than the other thing and that should have gotten me four of those it did not. Why did that not do that? One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, that's better. That might cause a bit of a spin, though, I think, but we'll we'll have to see. Okay, so that's going to be what I dock with. <laughs> I know insanity, right? Um, and this can now come off, because I think... 
that that won't burn it too badly, so... Yoink. And then... Well, see, now that's what I can dock with, but will that get me to the moon? I'm thinking that it won't. So... Let's do this. I know, the big, big, big old middle rocket engine. Um, but you know what? I should be able to lighten this up a little bit by doing this. Stay. Go there and zoom in. And up and in. And then... Oh, those are going to be right on the thrusters, aren't they? Well, there's nothing that says we can't do this. There you go. Yeah, a little bit better, a little bit more, a little more functional. You know, they'll they'll point me exactly where I need to go, kind of thing. All right, now these should go on like this. Yeah, no, tell me that won't get me to the moon, huh? Liar. All right, and then jam those on there like that. Hey, look at that! Look at that little guy there. Isn't that great? That's that is my transpo right there. Um, that's actually not so bad. As long as the Kerbins don't try to go through here, they're gonna suffocate. Um, okay. Well, this is nice. Uh, downside is now I gotta get this into orbit. <laughs> oh boy. So, um, I'm not gonna bore you with that part. This video's been a little bit long with me putting this together, but, um, I'm not sure if I want this to return either, if I want to put like a, a decoupler here and like put a pod here and maybe have it come back to Kerbin in the end. Kerbin, Kerbin in the end. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, probably not. I, I think I'll leave it as is without the decoupler and everything else. So, um, yeah. In a minute, I'm going to go ahead and just set this up to maybe get this into orbit and then I will see you in a few minutes. Alright everyone, this is what I have come up with. It is using the asparagus system because the last time I didn't use it, I ended up using up all my fuel really before I got anywhere. Um, this should more, be more, 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 more than enough to get me into orbit and maybe even help me rendezvous. I will have to disconnect at this point just because. Um, if it has fuel left in it, I could absolutely like lock onto it and be all like, I still have fuel in here, but I don't think I want to do that. I think I'll just do the whole um, cancel flight if this is orbiting. And I'll just go ahead and select this and tell it to cancel this because um, I don't want a bunch of space garbage right now. And I don't see any use for this rocket other than just to get me up into orbit. So this should get me into orbit and then after that we are going to try to use this little concoction to rendezvous. And then after that, <laughs> we are going to... Um, well, we're going to try to drag its happy butt to the moon like a tow truck. Beep, beep. So I will see you out on the runway. <laughs>